We're at the University of Miami Experimental Hatchery where the team here raises a variety of different species of fish, including mahi-mahi. And so we're really lucky to have access to these fish to work on across all life stages, everything from newly spawned embryos up to mature spawning adults, which is what we're working with today. We are going to be putting some satellite tags on our captive fish, which is um, different than normal because we, we know exactly where they are. We don't need these tags to tell us where they're going. Um, but what we're interested in is the behavior that's associated with spawning. So these tags are really sophisticated, which is amazing. We can strap them to fish and they'll still, they take measurements of the depth, the temperature, um, and also the light levels, which help us determine where, where in the world the fish are. And these, these tags are special because we've had them custom fitted with accelerometers. So basically how fast these fish are accelerating at different points. Here at the hatchery, these fish spawn every day or every other day. And so we're able to use that spawning behavior coupled with the information from the tags and uh, hopefully build a sort of a profile of what kind of behaviors are associated with spawning and then ideally we'll be able to extrapolate that out to wild fish and to help understand when we get data back from tagged wild fish what it might look like when they're spawning and so we can confirm spawning events and potentially feeding events in the wild. So the first thing we're going to do is select some of the biggest and healthiest fish from the tank. They'll be best able to carry the weight of the tag in the water. Um, and next thing is I will insert this into the tagging needle. We'll give it a quick dip in an antibiotic and then um, basically push this tag into the dorsal musculature and through the pterygiophore bones, which helps lock it into place. Uh, it shouldn't hurt the fish too much. At that point, we'll quickly transfer them into the tank where they'll be spending the next three to four weeks um, where we have cameras positioned so we can look at some of the behaviors also in that way. 